What's up guys, it's Drew, and today I'll be showing you how to make a 7 slash war POI in Fortnite Creative. This has been uh, really requested from the other IO POI video, so here it is. Uh, I made this build, it's just a chunker speedways bu building, uh, chunker speedway building, just a 7 version, as you can see, there's like uh, 7 equipment and all that, there's like, the, I know what these are called, I forgot, windmills, windmills around the POI, we have the milit like the same military pieces, but, not some military pieces, but, you know, I mean, like, the war, reality, war, P reality, war, pieces, like, that are around POIs, like, so, also, I made these two, like, so, with this piece, I put them two-sided, like this, double-sided, like this, and it actually looks really nice, it's like this in the real game, like, as, like, uh, seven sanctuary and synapse station, and there's a, just a bunch of 7 tech, and there's a 10 over here, and satellites here too. 7, uh, the foundation banners, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, satellites, uh, 10 are right here, more satellites, and also more reality war pieces. Also, they're working on the battle bus, because you know 7 has, has battle buses, and IO has... Oh yeah, IO has tanks. Oh yeah, also, uh, forgot to mention the turret on the front. On the front, people are pretty nice. And they're working, and also they're working on the battle bus. There's a bunch of cargo trading things, and there's a bunch of technology over here. It's just like the lot, like lounge, if you want to call it. Um, over here is like a computer room. There's nothing much in here. Just and this place is just cargo, a little bit of cargo. And yeah, that's actually basically it for the POI. And I'm gonna show you the props you will need for this this type of building. So the first thing you need is a junk junction, uh, like bob wire piece from the prop gallery from junk junction. And you can just find it, go to creative, you want to go to galleries, and look at like junk junction. And you can press open, and it's your bob wires right here. And the next prop, we have the ego prop gallery. It's just like this little, uh, I forgot what it's called, but there's a thing that blocks off other stuff and you can find it by just typing all you have to do is press like type an e and dot a period or dot and you can just press open and it's right here it's in there. next prop we have the ego prop gallery it's the same thing it's just the like, sand packs on top of each other you can find it by the same exact thing by just going to galleries typing e uh, period going to the gallery open and it's right here sitting and now we have the the whole entire sanctuary prop gallery. This is gonna be really useful for the seven POI you wanna make. And yeah, before we get into it, uh, please use code Dress. I'd really appreciate it. And also, get get your build ready. I'm I don't have like a build ready for me for myself, so I'm just gonna place it on a prefab. So uh, I'll just place it on this gas station. Turn off building prop and turn drops off easily like that. Let's get straight into it. What you want to do, you want to save these uh, things to your prop gap, to, the, to your hotbar, and go over to your like area of prefab. And first, we want to start like surrounding the POI and the like thing, the blockades. I forgot what they're called again. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, just add them around the POI like this. You can also add the bob wire on top of the sand pack or uh, stacked on top of each other you can resize it and make it fit perfectly it actually looks really nice and just keep on doing that the same thing and yeah also you can use the go to the devices tab and go to the uh, mounted anti-vehicle turret which is a 7 one all you want to do is just place it down and then turn invisible during game off and i'm just gonna speed up the process of me just placing down uh, barriers around the and yeah, I'll get back to you when I'm done.
Alright guys, I'm back. And now I'm gonna show you uh, what you can do after you're starting your PY just like this. I'm gonna show you how to do like the double sided like barrier, like the top part with the roof piece for it. And for the sanctuary, like seven PYs. First you wanna go into your prop gallery and right here you wanna get this basic one just sitting right here. You wanna reset the like rotation and you wanna copy it, grid snap four, and copy it and rotate it with using rotation axis see off place it down the other side and you have it just put, turn off grid snap off and you can just place it around your PY easily just like this not too difficult make sure you're placing in the areas that it will look good not too good now I'm placing in uh, our right areas pretty good areas it looks alright from this distance also you want to uh, place like cargo like seven cargo or like technology pieces just like these ones like this uh, computer right here and this technology here as you can see what i did right here you can do like all this and cargo don't forget the cargo oh yeah also place down these battle buses around the pot since the seven uses battle bus and i use some tanks also you can use these windmills and i don't they look pretty nice with io builds not io builds seven builds correct sorry for that just place them down right there and also you can use these satellites you can just place them around the py like on top of rooftops because it actually looks really nice in my opinion at least and you can just place them around this like that and then once you're done with that you can just place down a cone or whatever a wall a floor or whatever and just place them around so it's like on grid like in the exact spot place you want it so like this and you can place a few on the front until you like this oh whoops i had an accident i just placed on another car and i'll just move it back simple like that and then you want to delete all your cones and yeah that's pretty much it for like outside stuff also uh get the battle bus if you want you can just place it around the poi like this because you know, seven of those battle buses, so just place them around easily just like this. And now I'm gonna show you how to do the interior, like cargo and technology. Like you can simply use like these pieces that you can see right here, like this one say simply save it to your hot bar so you don't have to keep on going back and forth. And just don't forget oh yeah, don't forget about the technology pieces, they're really useful. You can also place these uh, seven banners around the POI. And also you can use these antennas, which I'm just going to copy one and then resize it. I like to resize it. You don't have to. But I just like resizing it. It actually looks pretty good. Well, sort of. Uh, like I put it too huge. Like resize it way too big. Simple like that. And yeah, that's pretty much it for that. For like the antenna. Stuff. Oh yeah, we have this more technology. Can't save it all to my hotbar, but for now I'll just place it right here real quick. And also, I want to show you for show you how to do interior. I want, you can place on these seven banners, which look really nice on it too. Also, I want to tell you guys, uh, what do you guys want to see for my channel? Like, what tutorials do you guys want to see? Do you want you guys want to see speed builds? What maps and guys? And I just suggest what you want me to, what you want to see from now on for this uh, channel. If anything in particular you want me to help you with in the tutorial or something. Yeah. We're going to get into the interior uh, decoration right now. So, when you're doing and get like these this simple cargo pieces, you just want to place it around the POI. This, and you can use the computer piece for the body and save it to my yeah, this piece I was talking about. Just simply add it to the POI like this. Trixie. Simply add it to the POI like this. And get the smaller version which I had I'm gonna save to my inventory. You can also place on this energy pieces. Hey, you can also delete these gas cans if you're really like a gas. Gas pumps if you don't really want those. Also, in these like little huts that uh, you can place down, you want to like put, I forgot to put like barriers around it, so I'm doing that right now. 
You can also put the computer prop in it. Which will also make it look really nice. Like this one or this one. Whichever you prefer. I'm just going to use the bigger one. It looks cool. And you can just simply put it like this. Cargo. I want to place a generator piece, or you can just place down a big technology piece like right here. Easy like that. And yeah, simple like this. Right here, you want to use cargo pieces like this. Also, if you guys haven't uh, joined my Discord server yet, I'd appreciate it. Uh, it will be in the comments or description, whatever I choose when I'm done making this video. And I hope I hope you guys uh, have been been enjoying this so far. Really appreciate if you have. And yeah, I'm gonna play some more cargo pieces over here. Simple like this. And don't forget inside the buildings, you might want to delete, delete some props. Really good, like it get rid gets rid of memory and stuff. Like delete the lights. You can delete the lights and add like the seven lights, which are which you want to use like grid snap for when you're using them. And it's just simply over here. And you want to go into your uh, pre prefab or whatever you're using. And it's simple like this. Just easily place it down, and it goes perfectly with the ceiling. So it's grid snap four. Looks really nice in my opinion. Uh, but it goes two down. So if you can just resize the height by a little bit, if you want to, and uh, it looks uh, perfect, kind of perfect after that. Yep, perfect. And now you want to just put some like uh, computers, and, like the, the uh, seven generators. Keep on getting myself mixed up with the IO and the seven. Anyone use this type like computer piece? I can place it right here. I'm also going to place it right here. Yeah, you can use the cargo piece. No, I have not. I don't know why I have not placed this piece down here. Right here, make sure it's still. I'll make sure it's playable like this, unless you're making this just a, like, a exploration map or like adventure map, whatever you're uh, doing. And also, use, don't forget to use the computer pieces. And don't forget to use like the desk pieces, like the seven computers. Oh yeah, also this like 3D printer thing, whatever it's called. I don't actually I don't know what it's called. Also want to use this. You want to put it down here, easy like that. And now this part is done, and now we can start working on. Like, I'm gonna start working on this garage. Since it's a garage, I'm gonna delete most of the props here. I'm gonna still keep it since it's mostly a garage, and I just accidentally deleted that. That's perfectly fine because I can just easily go into the gallery like this and just reach in for it. Can I? Wait, hold on. Oh, never mind. You can't. Can. Oh, it's good news. I'm just gonna simply place it back like that. Go. And we can also. I'm also. I'm just gonna move this battle bus inside of here if I can't. No, I'm not. I can. Anyway, I'm just gonna decorate this with uh, like seven props. I don't know why I keep on getting myself mixed up with IO and seven. I place a generator easily like this, and then you can use the banner. Oh yeah, I already have it. Right here. Simply align it with the building I'm doing. Yeah, that's actually basically it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please use code DRIFTS and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Like the video. Uh, comment uh, if this was helpful or not. And yeah, peace.